three days it's been miserable actually for the last week it's been up and down raining cloudy sun amongst the clouds uh, there is a glimmer of hope every once in a while anyway now we have to wear these they are compulsory or mandatory or whatever you have to wear them every time you go into um, a supermarket so I think it's a there's a 1,000 pound fine if you don't wear them so I don't know anyway I'm going to the shops now I'm going to the nearest there uh, Morrison's actually the Morrison's is nice but the, um, the waitress where we live is really good Tell you why the quality is really good, and some people think ah, it's the same quality. But no, it's not the same quality. You know, sometimes you don't get what you pay for, but sometimes you really do. I've got Betty in the back with me today because um, I want to get her used to people, so I'll park up in a busy place. You know where she sees lots of people and she's gonna be barking her head off I know so I'll keep the camera running in here no one's gonna steal the camera anyway um, but with her in the car I don't think they no one would want to steal the cam camera or come in anyway yeah so I'll keep the camera running and see what happens she might not bark my, my wife is worried she's gonna bark her head off I don't think she will um, yeah, so I have to get her used to people because, what is it, about, yeah, a week ago, it was the weekend, and I took her out uh, to the woods nearby <coughs> where we <coughs> we live, and, you know, when I walk, I let her just run around, you know, I don't use a lead, um, it's so stressful with her, she's, she's like a wild a dog, a wild animal, she doesn't like the lead, keeps pulling me back and pulling me forward you know I try to control her but if I, I can't control her for the whole of the the walk in the woods she needs some kind of freedom as soon as she smells anything boom she goes that way that way you know and it's usually behind the bush somewhere where I can't go and the lead is short so what I did is I bought one of those extendable leads what a massive mistake you know she was going one way going another way I was getting tangled up and I thought that was so stressful. I'd rather have just a short lead, you know, not about a meter and a half, you know, lead. Two meters lead, sorry. And I can control her if she wants to. She can control me. She can pull back when she has to smell something. And then I'll, I'll wait for her. But it's stressful. It's the stop and start, stop and start. It's not a nice walk for me. And, uh, but, you know, I have to think about her after, you know, the walk is for her as well. Um, but I want to get some exercise and I don't want to be stressed out. And walking the dog with that lead is stressful. So I have to find a solution. Well, anyway, yeah, I was walking without the lead. And uh, I don't know, she just smelt another dog. It was another German Shepherd, an old German Shepherd. And she started barking. She went round the corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I didn't get there on time. I ran to try and tell her, no, Betty, no. And uh, she was just barking her head off. And I was trying to calm it down. But she wasn't focusing on me at all. She was just focusing on that dog. <laughs> and 
then the lady, the owner, she went, she, she, she went mad. She just was uh, shouting. She was with her hands up in the air and saying, no, no, no. I mean, really shouting, like, no, no. And I was thinking, why does she have to, have to shout so much, you know? I don't think it helps the situation. Uh, you know, it might make uh, Betty even more nervous, you know? Betty wasn't even looking at her. She was just focused on that dog and rah, rah, like this. She, Betty wasn't bar uh, uh, wasn't biting her, just barking. And I said to the lady, uh, I said, uh, she, she won't bite, she won't bite. And she, she said, uh, yes, but mine will. And and uh, then I said, oh, okay, yeah, and, you know, um, something like, uh, you know, in this, in this situation, you just say something silly. I said something like, uh, oh, then um, she'll learn her lesson then, my dog, you know. And she said, no recourse to me. I thought, fucking hell. I said, yeah, okay, all right then. And I said, I'm sorry, you know, as I was trying to control her, I said, sorry, she's just eight months, she's a... She's a, a little puppy. And she was saying, but it doesn't help me, does it? I thought, fucking hell. This woman is so, not sarcastic, but so uh, defensive, offensive, you know, so it's unbelievable. You know, she, has to, she doesn't have to be so angry, so, so uh, confrontational. Sorry, yeah, that's the word I was trying to find, trying to say, what I wanted to say. Um, so then I said, yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm really, you know, after I said sorry many times and I controlled Betty and I pulled her back, I said, no, no. Afterwards, as, as I was walking away, I said, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. She said, oh, she smiled and she said, oh, you've got a beautiful dog there anyway. I said, oh, thank you very much. I think finally she realized she was, you know, OTT. She was over the top. She was just too much. You know, she got, a reaction was just too much. You know, I would have thought, Somebody who's had a German Shepherd for a long time because, you know, a German Shepherd was an old dog, maybe at least 10 years of age, all white hair and, you know, you know how to act when there's another German Shepherd. You don't shout and scream and, you know, make the situation worse. She may have felt that my dog was out of control and didn't have a lead, you know, but it was going near them, say, it, it, it was maybe a, a meter and a half away. But no, two meters, mate. No, what am I talking about? No, it was a few meters away. It wasn't that close. But the way it was growling and barking, you know, it did look uh, aggressive. So, uh, what's my point? My point is, now when, you know, I have to have a, use a lead with her, she's so naughty. Aren't you, Betty? You're very naughty. Oh, she stinks as well. So, I might actually get a muzzle, put a muzzle on her, and then she can walk around freely, you know, without uh, a lead. But I'm wondering if, if with a muzzle she meets, she starts barking at some people or another dog, does it look worse? Does it look, look like it's a dangerous dog? You know, she might butt um, a person or a dog, but at least it's got a muzzle, it can't bite. So I would have thought people would think, uh, oh, okay, it's uh, it's got a muzzle, it can't bite me. Uh, on the other hand, they might think, why has it got a muzzle? This is a dangerous dog. Anyway, I will buy a muzzle, a muzzle because I can't trust her. You know, I wanted to take her to, I wanted to go, you know, do some camping or something like that or even in my car, just sleeping in my car, just going somewhere, maybe the Lake District, where you have all those beautiful lakes and those mountains or you know, massive hills at least. I'd like to climb up those. But if I'm walking with her, and you know, we see other people on the, on the walk or on the mountain, she, she might chase them, she might bark at them. And I want to have a dog that I can control. I can't, don't want to be constantly having to hold hold her with a with a lead and control her. You know, it's it's stressful, really stressful. Especially if I want to film, I need a, a camera, like in one hand, uh, 
hold, grabbing, holding her in another hand, and it's just too much. So I need to have her under control. It's a massive Range Rover. I'd like to have some a car like that, like a Range Rover, but they're so expensive. So expensive. It must be nice to be high up. The only uh, the, the the only bad point is those SUVs. If you because they're higher up, if you go around the corner really really sharply, I think you have more of a chance of rolling over, of toppling over. Um, but the, mind you, they're quite big. They're quite heavy. They've got big fat wheels. So with a low car like this, I don't have that problem. I think when I go around the corner. Even if I go around fast, it kind of sticks to the sticks to the. I, I have the, the feeling that it's going to stick to the ground. Whereas one of those SUVs, if I take the corner sharply, I'm worried that it'll topple over. You know. Anyway, shut up. I'll see you guys at the Morrisons and see if this troublemaker is going to be barking her head off. Well, if she, my wife was saying, oh, she's going to bark her head off, people are going to be complaining. This is part of her training. She's got water in the back, she's got her bone. I'll, I'll leave the windows slightly ajar, slightly open, you know, so they can complain as much as they want. No one's going to complain. to get used to people and get used to other dogs simple and she has to become more obedient she's just like she's just a wild dog doesn't listen you know and I suppose it's true what they say you know that people say it's um, it's all to do with the, the trainer you know you don't have a bad dog there's no bad dog there's just a bad Badola. Yeah, I suppose they're right. The dog has to be kind of molded into um, becoming a, an obedient, a good dog. You have to be like a dog whisperer. So I'm reading a book now uh, online, well, on my, on my computer, because recently we've had problems, you know. Because because of the the rain and the the wind, it's taken out. Uh, the BT have sent us a message that it's taken something out, and we can't use the internet for at least a week and a half or two weeks. So you know, it's really difficult making videos where we live because even though okay, the internet's been taken out for a, a week or two. But even when the internet is okay, the, the upload speed is so slow. When I used to make the videos at uh, 1080p, it used to take, let's say, a day for me to upload a five minute video. Now, it takes a few days because I now use uh, 4K and it's much more, sorry about this. It takes up much more space and uh, it, it takes up much more time. So like a, a, a 20 minute video, it took me five days and the computer had to be on all day. Like uh, I used to switch the computer off every five hours. So two times in a day, I had to switch it on and off. But well, auto automatically switches off, you know, but I think with the, uh, such a slow upload upload the uh, speed it it's knackering my computer it's really tiring my computer because um, well it just takes so much I have to have the computer switched on for the whole day in order to um, upload let's say three minutes so hang on it takes me five days yeah three fires 15. Let's say four minutes. If I have to upload a four-minute video, it will take a whole day 
it will take 10 hours something like that something ridiculous like that it's uh, so I don't know what, what I can do maybe I can um, I'm not sure what it's like maybe I can go to a city and uh, upload from the city you know the, loca the location that where we live uh, you don't get much um, you know the, the coverage isn't isn't so great Okay, I'm going to leave this on and see what she does. See if she goes crazy. It should be okay. All right, Betty, you stay there. Stay there and look after my mobile.